All right, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. We are at the shed, the Cars and Creators Halo Adelaide 500 edition. We've got Chris here with his, I don't even know what year this is, but his V8 supercar. We've got the Taco guys out, outside and people are starting to roll in. So looking forward to uh, seeing how many people we can get to show up and uh, the Q&A a little bit later as well. And also we have the Monaro back which is great news. So yeah, I think we're on here. A few beers from Pirate Life, which is great. A bit of wine tasting. So I'm gonna go get into it. Let's go. Alright guys, thank you all for coming uh, to another Driving with Dixon Creators and Cars. Massive thanks to these guys for coming out and uh, supporting the event as well. Um, ahead of a very busy weekend for these guys, we've got Matt Payne and Richie Stanaway here. Yeah, it's great to be here everyone. It uh, looks like there's some pretty cool cars around to, to keep, your night, keep your eye on. But yeah, like you, like you said, you know, the 500 for me last year was really, really good. We ended up winning on Sunday, uh, which was pretty special for us as a team. It was our second win of the season last year and it's my first supercar win as well so it was was pretty cool to do that in my rookie season uh, i was i was pretty excited about it it it, it, uh, it made the end of the year very happy for myself and the holiday is very easy to enjoy so yeah hopefully we can sort of recreate a little bit of that this weekend and uh and try and put away uh, number two you've done a lot of uh different racing and you retired is that correct and then came back so how how you find that as a man who's just retired from professional sports how, how have you found that coming back? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a tough year, uh, a lot to learn. Uh, supercars is such a competitive category. It's not ideal to, to have a few years off and, and come back in and, and try and be up the front. Yeah, so I just had to manage my, my expectations a little bit throughout the year and um, you know focus a lot more on, on trying to get close to the front next year. Yeah, it's, it's been enjoyable. Yeah, really learned a lot throughout the year and uh, Adelaide is probably our, our hardest race of the year. It's such a, a difficult track and uh, it's going to be really hot on Saturday. So it's a nice tough one to, to round the year out with. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Speaking of how hot it's going to be on the Saturday, can you tell everyone like what's it like in the car? I know you have cool suits and stuff like that, but the temperature inside the cars. I think they're saying it's going to be like 33 or 33. 32 degrees on Saturday, which for us Kiwis is uh, extremely hot. Um, we, we love it, not. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically the, the temperature in the car is probably on average about 20 degrees hotter than it is uh, on ambient temperature, which is pretty hot for us. So if you're thinking about it, probably could be around 50. It's not it's not very breathable. It's uh, It gets very stuffy in the car. And obviously we have the cool suit system, which is almost like basically an aircon unit now. Um, it actually runs really well. Uh, it runs at about three to four degrees, uh, pumps water through a special shirt we wear that has veins in it. And then we also have helmet ear as well. That's basically a dry ice system that works. Uh, and that's also very cold. It's like having the aircon on, on full blast, just at your face. Uh, but in saying all of that good stuff, like, you know, it's probably you get two laps into the race and then that's it. You, you, you feel pretty hot. Your mental fatigue accelerates a lot as well. So it makes the day a lot longer. But if you're fighting up near the front, it's uh, it makes it easier as well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll keep it at that. Thank you very much for coming out today, lads. Really appreciate it. All the best for the weekend. Um, hopefully uh, see you up the front. So cheers, guys. Round of applause for the guys for coming out. Cheers. Awesome. Brandon Quinn in the Sprint Car Series suit. So Brandon, what's going on, mate? Thanks for coming in. So tell us a little bit of difference in, in what you guys are doing this year and uh, how's it planning out for you? Uh, so this Napa Speed, what they've put on is completely different for anything we've done before. Usually we go to a, a setup complex. We've raced there several times before. Now we've got a pop-up track being built in 10 days. Surfers never raced on before. 40 of the best drivers race for 125 grand. I mean, it's um, in total prize money. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's um, awesome. So we're really looking forward to it and yeah. um, looking forward to being on 
same stage as supercars and supercross as well. What does the car actually run? So like what's the engine set up and, and like how do they actually work? Is it all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? I've never really seen them. I'm told I will not fit in them. But um, yeah, just tell us a little bit about the car and how they run. Um, I'd definitely like to see you try and get in one because that'd be a great Snapchat video. So basically they're rear-wheel drive, um, direct drive. So drive line goes straight through the legs from the uni, or uni on the motor, straight into the rear end. 900 horsepower, 600 kilos, big wing on top, which basically helps you get your power down. Massive rear tires. They run on methanol, 14 cubic inch, and mechanical injection. So the injection side of things are a little bit old school, but quite reliable. Well, that's a go. A lot of horsepower, and that's what we love. All right, mate. Well, thank you very much for coming out and talking to everyone. Big round of applause, and uh, all the best for the weekend. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Next off the bat, we'll have Elijah. Where is he? <laughs> How you going, mate? <laughs> now, Elijah's been on the channel before and uh, done the radio show and um, local lad, privateer, been um, doing Supercross for a, a few years now, but talk us, mate, how'd you get into it? Uh, yeah, no, first of all, thank you for having us. Um, it's cool to be here, cool to see some some cars, obviously coming from a two-wheel background, it's cool to see a, a different style of racing. Racing is racing, we all enjoy it. So, um, yeah, I grew up on a farm about three hours out of Adelaide. Dad had bikes, um, so obviously you want to do what dad does and um, got into bikes when I was about three and then it sort of just never stopped um, from there as much as my parents probably wanted it to. Yeah, continued on from there as a kid and then, uh, you know, obviously Pee Wee progresses to 65, 85, all the way through, racing all through juniors and then race, um, you know, when you turn 16, you turn pro and start racing Supercross and all that. Obviously last year we raced in the entertainment centre and then I remember growing up racing, uh, sorry, watching Supercross inside the entertainment center as a kid so you know sort of full circle moment to to do that and been doing it for quite a while now and um yeah just love it it's like for me like you said i'm a privateer so i'm not you know getting massive bucks i'm not paid by manufacturers i'm just purely doing it for the love sometimes i question that uh, a couple of weeks ago ended up on my head but um it's good fun and you know it's the same probably the same with the with the v8s it's just a big traveling circus a big traveling family and um, we get looked after pretty well so yeah it's good fun uh, awesome mate we're saying all the best for all the races coming forward and uh hopefully we'll see you out there and uh looking forward to it mate cheers Super trucks, let's go. Talks about the super trucks and um, where they've been and why they haven't been back, I guess, and pumped to have them back because they are definitely a very awesome, awesome thing to watch. Thanks, mate. Thanks for having me here. Uh, for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm the local lad, Travis Milburn, and uh, finally get a seat back in the truck again. Last time I drove one was uh, 2021, but the last time I drove here, I got second. So hopefully we can get up there and do it for the locals and um, yeah, cheer me on. So to answer your question, super trucks are very well loved. And we all know that, right? So they've, I don't know exactly what happened as to why they you know, disappeared for a couple of years. I know COVID was a hard period for all industries and whatever. So they're back now. I hope they do more than just Adelaide. It's, uh, they're telling me that it's just the one event that they're doing, but you know, that's between the organizers, Robbie and, and the rest of them. Uh, but what Robbie Gordon's actually done with Super Truck is just purely amazing. That's awesome. So talk us through the trucks, what sort of engine and, and stuff do they, do they run and how many laps and stuff do they do normally in, in a single race? And obviously there's jumps and whatnot, so a little bit different to normal. We generally run time sensitive uh, because we're a support category. It works out to about seven or eight laps. Um, halfway through each race, we will do a regroup. And basically what that means is wherever we qualify or wherever we finish each race, the fastest person will now start at the back. So we're opposite all of your normal categories. Whoever is the fastest will be at the back. Whoever is the slowest will start at the front. And the reason for that is to give you guys more entertainment, to smack into each other harder and, you know, have some rollovers and have some, have some biffo. So engine wise, it's a little bit of a Robbie special. It's an LS base. It's about 600, 650 horsepower. Uh, he's done a really good job to make those trucks as strong as they are, because I think they're only 1600 kilo. Don't quote me on that. They might even be a bit less, but you know, we hit those ramps really hard and we're hitting four ramps per lap, lap after lap. And these trucks just keep taking it. You know, they really are quite incredible. No, they, they are and I'm absolutely excited to go and see them. So thanks a lot for coming out and, and sharing it, mate. I really appreciate it and uh, all the best uh, going forward. Forward. Once again, thank you all for coming. It's been amazing to see you here, especially on a Tuesday night. And all the best to all the racers and everyone who's uh, moving forward in the Velo 500 this, this weekend. I'm pumped. Can't wait. Thanks again.
I should get a sponsor from f***ing Ajax. Everyone who bought a raffle ticket, we're about to draw the first one and it is going to be two GA four day passes. So coming up would be a good one to win, I reckon. Blue F03. Yeah, <laughs> Tira, I'll give you I'll give you tickets, mate. Don't worry about it. Someone else. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> it's nice to just win something anyway. Get the name called out. <laughs> You're racing, mate. <laughs> Straight on your head. <laughs> Even with that head, he can still pull at one bird at least. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Cracked himself up. Cheers. It's better than the ones I made last night. I eat meat and wraps. Meat and bread. <laughs> I didn't even try to get into this one. I don't reckon I am. Oh, perfect. I don't know what I'm doing. Which one? There we go. Holy shit. Uh, see, don't go back anymore. I've got heaps, oh, not really heaps headroom, but radio, speed, fuel trim, line locker. That'd be a key button I'd use. Left or right, pump. Now, how the f do I get out of here? Uh. Uh. Like that. <laughs> I did, I got in there, but yeah. How did you get in? I got in, yeah. I <laughs> took the wheel off. But there's not much room. Not. All right, guys, now that's a wrap on the DWD Cars and Creators Velo Edition. It's been a massive day. It's been actually a massive week to try and get this place ready because me stupidly decided to cut out the trees, which you'll see a whole vlog on that. But it, it was a cracking day and I want to thank all the sponsors. I've got them here on my phone because there's a lot and I've got a goldfish memory. So Pirate Life Brewing, CW Wines, TKD, KPM Motorsports, AusX, Velo 500, Tough Mounts, Red Bull, and Senor Taco. All those guys did a huge job and were pivotal in getting this uh, event to where it was today. And I really appreciate everyone who's showing up. But anyway, again, thank you to everyone who showed up and supported the event. Um, now that I'm unemployed, I hope to be doing a lot more of these. We've got a fair bit of free time. We'll be doing some more Dragon and Dixon uh, up at the bend, hopefully four or five events next year with that. We'll go into the summer that stuff and go into as much car things as we can. So sing out if you need us, talk to V. She does all that. <laughs> Thank you guys, we'll see you next time, cheers.